Three people vanish into thin air. They were last seen in the woods outside Charlotte, North Carolina. But this missing person story is about to take a deadly turn. A massive manhunt is on. The families of the trio paper the town with missing flyers. We hope for the best, but plan for the worst. After an agonizing week of waiting, the remains of 23-year-old Sandy Lee are found along a highway on the outskirts of town. Autopsy results reportedly show she was shot once in the head. Soon after, her abandoned car was located 2,000 miles away. You heard right, 2,000 miles in Phoenix, Arizona. But the other missing couple, 17-year-old Alex Castillo and his 19-year-old girlfriend, Amia Feaster, are nowhere to be found. We are very interested in bringing them back here to ask them any questions. But it's not long before sinister clues emerge. Investigators find that Castillo, who just happened to be Sandy's ex-boyfriend, owed her money. The two allegedly arranged a meeting so he could repay the debt. Instead, cops say Sandy went to an ATM and emptied her bank account. Detectives believe Castillo and Feaster then drove Sandy's black Toyota Corolla to Arizona, dumped it there, and then crossed the border into Mexico. Feaster's mother is desperate for answers. I was devastated because I was thinking the same thing was going to happen to my daughter. The last time Monica McIver connected with her daughter was on Facebook several days after her disappearance. Soon afterwards, the Facebook account was mysteriously shut down. In their exchange, Monica asked her daughter, are you safe, are you scared? Amia replied, I'm not scared, I'm fine. Her mother then asked, do you plan on seeing me again? To which Amia wrote, I don't know, but if I don't, I love all y'all. I don't know if she's safe. I don't even know if she's alive. Alex Castillo's mother made a tearful plea from her hospital bed after passing out during the search for her son. I can do anything if you're not here. And while authorities look for Castillo and Feaster, Sandy Lee's family remembers the bright and vivacious young woman in a ceremony celebrating her life. She has a unique gift in her that she can light up the room by just walking in. Incredibly, Sandy's uncle says the family does not blame whomever is responsible for killing his niece. We don't want to hold that grudge to the people that caused her death. We want people to know her for what she is. Then, just days ago, a dramatic turn in the case. Amia Feaster turns herself in to Mexican authorities. The 19-year-old has not been charged but was extradited to the U.S. and is currently being held in a Houston jail. While Castillo is still at large, Mia Feaster may now be the best hope to solve the case. But if they don't have a case right now, uh, the case could be uh, made by cooperation from the woman who's turned herself in. If Feaster helps cops locate Castillo, murder charges eventually could be filed in the case. But no matter the outcome, nothing will bring back the pretty young woman with so much promise.